Hello from Four Biology Chapter Nine, Video Number Nine, Page Number Eleven. Another new title: Absorption of Digested Foods, Sisu Su. Okay. So where is the organ, or why is the organ help us to digest the food? Ah, no, no, no. Help us to absorb the food. Small intestine. But what are the characteristics of the small intestine? What are the special of the small intestine? So it can absorb the food. 帮助我们吸收食物呢 Okay. So let's say this is a small intestine. You cut the small intestine, and you cut the small intestine, and you look at the inner surface of the small intestine. So under the microscope, you can see something like this. If I magnify it, it will be look like this. Or this is something that we call villi or singular villus. You check dictionary, 或者叫绒毛，不过它不是毛来的，它是毛毛的东西 ，villus or villi. Okay, so under the microscope, the inner wall of the small intestine actually look like this. 它是有一些毛毛毛毛的样子的，它不是平平的，有点粗粗。Okay, so this is what happens. But why? 为什么呢 ？And all this actually we call we like 绒毛 or villus. Okay, so like follow me. If you cut the small intestine on the inner surface of the small intestine, it contains a lot of we like 绒毛。Okay, so this is one of the villus. 这一粒呢就是其中一粒的 villus， 多多就叫 villi. Okay, so for the villus, it having a layer of wall, or this is a wall that making the surface of the villus. Okay, and make up of the cell called epithelial cell, white p 的细胞 Okay, and the epithelial cell actually just a layer of it. So it having a very thin wall. We like having a very thin wall. 很薄很棒的墙壁 Or this is the epithelial cell that making the wall. And for the epithelial cell that making the wall of the villi, actually they having the process called differentiations. They differentiate to increase the surface area. And now on the cell, you can see they actually having something again, something special again that we call microvilli. Not vil, not macro. This is called microvilli. 更小更小的表面 microvilli. Okay. Next, and what are the contents? Or beside the wall, what we have under the villus? It contains a lot of blood capillary. 有很多的微血管 And all the blood capillary they join together. They're going to absorb the food, absorb the food. And all the small blood capillary they're going to join together, become the bigger blood vessel, 变成更大条的血管 And the bigger blood vessel finally will be what? 最后要送去哪里呢 Okay, they will be joined together. Blood capillary joined together. Finally, become the arterial and venule. Or what's mean by arterial and venule? Arterial 就是动脉 Venule 就是小动脉 Okay, arterial 小动脉 <coughs> Sorry, ah,、uh. arterial 小动脉 Venule 也就是小静脉 So all the blood capillary here they join back, become the bigger blood vessel. Maybe become arterial 小动脉 Maybe become venule 小静脉了 Okay. So, oh, what happens? 还有什么呢？嗯嗯，我出来先。So beside the blood capillary, okay, what we have under the villi, it contains another type of tube. 它还有另外一种管道。I don't call it as tube 了，不应该叫 tube 了。It contains another type of tube or any 管道的东西的 ducts 管道的东西 called lactals, lactals, 乳糜管。Lactals. Or what's the function of these lactals? The small lactals going to join together, join together, and finally become the lymphatic okay, vessel. It will become the lymphatic vessel. Lactals, lactals, together, together, finally become the lymphatic vessel. Lymphatic vessel, lymphatic vessel, and finally it will absorb certain food and send the food go to where lymphatic system. Okay, so lactals going to join together, become the lymphatic vessel, and the vessel going to send the food go to the lymphatic system, 跑进我们的淋巴系统 Okay, so this is a villi. And now, what are the characteristic of the small intestine? So it can absorb the food easily, efficiently. 小肠到底有什么特征呢？可以帮助我们吸收食物呢 ？Okay, you copy on your notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. First, and I follow the point. Okay. So the adaptive characteristic of the small intestines that is related to the small absorption of food. 小肠到底有什么特征？ Okay, 造成它可以帮助我们吸收食物呢？ Number one, it is the longest. 
Okay, section of the elementary canal about six meter. Ah, six meter, one meter, two meter, six meter. So small intestine actually they are called okay inside our body. 在身体里面呢卷来卷去 So about six meter in the adult's body 呢很长很长 So 小肠有什么特别呢？帮助你吸收食物呢 ？The first 就是小肠很长很长 ，about six meter long， 大概有六 meter 这样长。Wow. Okay. Besides very long, any characteristic of the small intestine? It has some features. The inner wall is highly fused to form the finger-like projections. Call what? So the inner wall is highly fused to form the finger-like projection. Call what? 造成好像一条一条手指的东西 Call V like 就变成 V like. 它里面的表面呢有一大堆的 V like， 不是滑滑的表面，它是粗粗的表面 Call V like. OK， 也是它的特征来的。But why we like？ 为什么一定要有 we like 呢 ？The wall of the small intestine is covered with what？ They are specialized to complete the digestion and absorb the resulting nutrient molecule. OK， the wall of the small intestine is covered with the what？ The wall of the small intestine， 哎 ，is covered with epithelial cell， 薄薄的一层细胞。Yes， so the wall of the small intestine is covered with。A layer of epithelial cell, okay, and all the cell here they are specialized to complete the food digestion. They can release juice called intestinal juice. They can 放出一些汁叫做 intestinal juice. Or they can increase the surface area, absorb the food, 帮助你吸收食物了 And the epithelial lining is only one cell thick. 而且它的表面呢只有一层细胞的厚度 one cell thick. The epithelial lining is only one cell thick. 这就是小肠的厉害啦<咳>。还有什么 ？OK， but why must be one cell thick？ 为什么一定要有 V 来？为什么要薄薄的墙壁呢 ？Or why is the importance of the V 来？它的特别是什么 ？You imagine， 你自己想一下啦。<咳> if if our small intestine in the surface is just move only without any V 来。If the range is six meter, 如果它的长度是 six meter, the surface will be six meter only. 呢，它的表面就只有 six meter. But because of the V line, together with the micro V line, it maybe can increase the total surface area for hundred times, 增加一百倍 Okay, so not six meter only. 呢 ，the surface maybe maybe six thousand meter. Okay, 啊，增加表面呢，给它吸收的更快。还有什么特征呢？小肠。The epithelial cell of the villus have what? Okay, micro villi. It's not just villi. It's also micro villi. The fine projection that further increase the absorption area of the each villus. So, outside the villi, villi the surface is also micro villi. Okay, the outer surface of the cell also creates the micro villi to increase the surface area, to increase the surface area. And each villus has a network of blood capillary and lactels. V 来的下面还收藏着一大堆的微血管 ，together with the lactels 还有乳糜管 ，OK， blood capillary together with the lactels to absorb the food and send to our whole body 啦，然后送去我们的整个身体 ，OK， so these are the adaptive characteristic of the small intestine， 小肠就是这样厉害，它的特征就是这样帮助我们吸收食物。That's all for this video， 拜拜。